Hi guys, welcome to the Cookie Network. I'm Lisa, the Barefoot Baker, and I'm your host. Today, we are gonna make a cute little money cookie, and I thought we would kick it off by doing something really cute and creative. So grab your decorating stuff and hurry back. And you know what we say around here, don't wait, let's create. Okay guys, I hope you're ready to have a little fun decorating a mummy cookie. This guy is so cute. I got this cutter from Tracy at Whisked Away Cutters. He's not just a mummy, but if you use your imagination, I'm sure you can see a snowman and a few other things. So the first thing we need to do is get a cookie recipe. You're welcome to my cookie recipe. It's on my blog. I'll provide a link up here in the corner so that way you can use it. The good thing about it, can you see how smooth this guy is? So here's your little mummy. This is what we're gonna decorate and you're gonna be surprised at how adorable he's gonna be. For this, we're not gonna need too much. We're gonna need a paintbrush. You can get a good paintbrush. Um, I got this one at Michael's and a turkey lacer. And this time of year, turkey lacers are everywhere. And you're just gonna need two colors of icing. So I hope you guys are ready. We are going to have so much fun. You're gonna cry and call your mummy. So hang in there, here we go. Okay, a lot of people ask me how I get my um, cookie cutters and stuff, all my cookies to be the exact same. How do I get the same shape on it? How do I do all that wonderful stuff? Well, it's as easy as tracing your pattern and drawing the um, lines inside your pattern. So let me show you really quick. This isn't gonna be perfect by no means. But first thing that I do is use Tracy at Whisk Away's Cutters cookie cutter, her mummy cutter. And then I come in here and I can kind of draw what I want. So it's hard to draw on this vinyl, so it's, it's not perfect, so please forgive me. That one of the main things I wanna do is find out where I want the eyes because the eyes will determine where I'm gonna put things, what I'm gonna do. I don't really want them touching, but I do want them close. So once I get the eyes in there, I can spin this around and I can kind of come across and just kind of lightly sketch. And then from here, I can kind of, let's take it down. There we go. And then this, okay, with that, I know I'm gonna want some stitches here. I want some stitches over here somewhere. Maybe some stitches up here. And we can't forget his eyebrows. So, we'll take this one. You know what? I think I wanna make this one go down a little bit more. I think I'll like it a whole lot better. As you can see, this is definitely a process. And I think before I do this, I want his smile to end up right in through here. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna bring this piece down right in through here. Okay, so I like that. And then this piece, I think this one can go in through here. There. I think he's got an awful big space right here too. So let's put one in there. And so he'll end up looking something like that. And here's the fun part. When you make templates like this, what you want to do is cut them out so I don't stress over it. If I lose them, it's no big deal. Now here's the thing. If you'll notice, this little cutter, he has several different cuts in him, but it's all one piece. There's no tape, there's no nothing. Like I said, this is one that I used a long time ago. So to do this, what I want to do is I just want to come in here and cut, but I don't wanna cut so much 
that I am going to cause myself heartache or stress or anything like that. Okay, neither one of these are cut, so I want to go down here. But I definitely don't want to take it to here because I want these to stay connected. So here's my mummy cookie. And what I want to do is place my template on the cookie. And there you go. It's that simple. Use a food safe marker. This is Sweet Sugar Bells. And it's a brown and I like it because it just doesn't bleed through the icing color. So as long as you're careful, even though I'm doing this guy white, it won't bleed through. So all you do is place your pattern on your cookie and then start bending back some of the patterns. So I'll usually bend one and I'll bend another. And once you bend it, you can trace it. And there you have it. So I know I want the cookie, I want his eyes to be in here somewhere. So I'm gonna say that about here, let's get his eyes in about here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. I think that'll look good. I may actually take it up just a little bit more because I just think that that'll be that much better. Maybe over. Perfect. What we're going to need is our cookie with our pattern on it, a paintbrush, and some black icing. So we'll let this dry for a few minutes and once it dries, we'll come back and add some white. We'll add a little white to our mummy. I'm gonna go ahead and outline him. And as you can tell, I'm letting the icing, can you see how far away the decorating bag is from the cookie? Because the icing will just kind of fall on the cookie. If I hold it close, I'm gonna get a really squiggly wiggly line. But if I hold it like this and then guide it down as I end, not a bad line, what do you think? Okay, so I'm gonna start down here and pipe this line. And just fill it in. And I like to usually just go around and lay some icing out and then go back and make a circular motion with a piping bag. That way I can push the icing to the edge of the cookie. Okay, once you get that, the next thing you can do is you can see this little peak here. I use a turkey laser. A girl at CookieCon mailed me turkey la lasers. Thank you, Heather. She mailed me turkey lasers and said, you are going to love these things. And she's right. I have been using them ever since. And that was like the very first CookieCon 
So she forever changed my world. Thank you, Heather. Okay, I'm gonna do this little guy up here. Make sure I spread it in really well. Decorating cookies is so much fun when you have someone there to decorate with you. I absolutely love decorating cookies. You know, if I have a friend over or something, it just makes it seem so much better. Now the thing about this is you can tell, let's see if I can pull this out real quick. The funny thing about this is you can tell, like this is still not dry. I can see that it's shiny which is fine, I'm gonna set it in front of the fan in a minute and you'll see that it dries with a nice shine to it. Okay, let's see if we can do it this way. Now we've talked about the royal icing eyes. I wanna to talk to you about something else real quick too. I'm holding my bag kind of at an angle like this so that way you guys can see the camera is straight over my hand, straight up right here. <laughs> and that's good because I want you guys to see what I'm doing, but when you decorate, that's not how I decorate. So sometimes it gets a little confusing trying to decorate when I'm trying to pipe so that way you guys can see. So let me just take a second and show you the proper way to hold a piping bag. Okay, so the proper way to hold a piping bag would be I, like I said, I hold it like this when I decorate for you guys. That is not the proper way to hold it. The proper way to hold it is straight up and down. See, but if I do this, you guys can't see the cookie. But the proper way to do it is hold it straight up and down and then start filling in. I hold it like this so that way hopefully you guys can see everything that I'm doing because what's the point of me decorating cookies if you guys can't see it? So, don't do as I do do the way you're supposed to do, or do whatever's comfortable for you. But to me, when I get the best decorating results is when I hold the bag straight up and down, not sideways. But I'll do sideways just so you guys can see because it makes me happy to make you happy. And remember, um, some people think there's one set of rules for everything and there's not. There really isn't one set of rules. I don't do things the way most people do it, so I have to find something that works for me. And if you're like me and you have to find something that works for you, then I think that's great. Find what works and do it. Okay, after we've let this dry a little bit, it's time to come back and add a little bit more white. Now the reason that you, you let this dry, and I may have already mentioned this, but I like to mention it again, is if you do all these layers at the same time, then it's gonna blend together and look like this, just one solid piece. But when you do it in sections and let it dry, then it really looks like, you know, you have something special here. It looks like you have a mummy that actually has the mummy layers, so. So if you're smarter than I am, then you'll learn to flood better than I do because I don't always do the right thing and sometimes I can't move as quickly as I want with a cookie because I have to wait for things to dry. Here's an example of that. I did this one, but if I would have done every other one, then when it was time to come back, I could have done every other one and I would only have to wait twice. Well, thanks to me and the way I like to do things backwards and crazy, I get to wait a little bit longer for this one to dry, but it's not that hard. It, it won't be bad. 
So you may just kind of want to plan and make sure that you have it the way you want it. That way you're not having to wait forever for your different sections to dry. And there we go. We're gonna smooth this out and wait a minute. And once we let this dry, we'll be ready to do the last little section. And while we're doing this, let me grab the royal icing eyes and we can go ahead and put his eyes in. Okay, here's his little eyeballs. Aren't they cute? I am gonna go ahead and put a little royal icing on the back and then drop it in place. For some reason, it doesn't feel like it's gonna stick. Let me add a little bit more icing. There we go. Now we'll do the small one. A little bit of icing. And drop it down in there. There we go. Now as soon as this dries, we can come back in and add that, then we'll be ready to add the details. Okay, so this little guy is dry enough that we can hit this last little spot right here and fill this, let him dry for a minute and he'll be ready to add the details with our marker. I don't know about you guys, but I swear, I think he is so cute, especially with this little piece right here hanging down. I think he's adorable. Great cutter. Okay guys, let's talk about the final touches on Mr. Mummy real quick. First thing I'm gonna talk about is the Royal Icing Transfer Eyes. I've got a tutorial coming up that's gonna show you exactly how to do this. And as you can see, you can make any size and any color that you want. Okay, so here we go. I have just a little bit of black royal icing and a very fine paintbrush. I'm going to come down in here and I'm going to make a little smile right here. Nothing as cute as a little grin. And then over here I'm going to do kind of the same thing with the stitches. There you go. And I think that's plenty for our little guy. All right, this little guy that I messed up a second ago, I should have done this with a paintbrush instead of the pen, but you can do it both ways. If you do it with a pen, just make sure your icing is completely dry. If you get pressed for time, then you can definitely do it with a paintbrush. and see how much smoother it goes. I'm gonna make these a little darker. That way they match. Okay guys, as you can see, the mummy cookie is not hard to make at all. But who wants to give a mummy cookie by himself? I wanted to pair him with these cute little bats. If you want to make some bat cookies to give with the mummies, you can find this tutorial on my blog. And seriously, there's a video. It will show you exactly how to make it and what to do. And you might even want to throw in a couple of witch hats just to make it a little more festive. So again, that's on my blog as well. So thank you guys for joining me today to make the mummies. And I really hope you have fun making them. And Please join me next time on the Cookie Network.